What's up guys, Caleb here from SRKCycles.com and you're looking at a 2014 Harley Davidson 83 iron. Guys, this bike runs great. Uh, it does have a few flaws, I'm gonna point it out to you. I am pricing this bike extremely accordingly. Um, it's gonna be a rock bottom price. It's gonna be $4,500 for this bike. Um, but it is in great running shape and I think honestly, if you're buying a first bike, this is something, and you were gonna get a Harley, um, go with this because it, cosmetically you can fix a lot of this stuff up. Uh, tires are in great shape. Uh, engine runs great. It's got some scuffing and you can see that along the paint and hides, but they sound great And it's got some you know dimples on that as well um, It does have a couple dents on the top of the tank scratch there It's got some scratches along the inside of the tank there. Honestly, I don't think it's a huge deal uh, It's got some scratches on the, the heads there I, I mean cosmetically if you're a super big uh, neat freak about that stuff. This is not gonna be the bike for you, but a lot of this stuff is easily fixable You can see that And a lot of the stuff doesn't matter uh, Got some scratches right there I'm gonna Scratch it on the side of the if you can see Let's see if I can get a better angle See right there on the side of the speedometer Front end is in good shape Um you get away with fixing a lot of this stuff pretty cheaply. Scratch right there. Like you could just put different bars on it. Um, you know, put a little bullet fairing on it or something like that. You could hide a lot of that stuff. You know, it's got some certain stuff on the thing. It's with this little side pouch, which is pretty cool. It's a pretty cool little side pouch. Seat's in good shape. There are no rips in the seat. Top of the tank has some scratches there. Um, as you can see, the bars are a little bit bent. So on this side, they come up straight. On that side, they're a little bit down. Um, I would just buy new bars for this. I mean, you can buy new bars for 40 bucks. Just put drag bars on it. It's not a big deal. It's got these risers on it, which are pretty cool. Um, you could just drop everything back down to stock. And then this piece would kind of be hidden by right here. Um, and you'd probably be perfectly fine, to be honest with you. Let's fire this beast up. So basically you would just take these controls off on either side, slide some new bars in there, bada bing, bada boom, maybe drop this back down to stock, that way this is hidden a little bit. Um, if you're a new rider, who cares about this? I mean, to be honest with you, you might drop it too. Um, and then, yeah, then you're good. You're back to looking perfectly normal. Uh, it's got a Michelin on the front, that's in great shape. Whoop, I totally just zoomed in. Uh, okay, it's got a Michelin on the front, in great shape. Um, and you know, the rear shock here, a little scratched out. Um, just put a progressive on there. You can get a set of progressive for a couple hundred bucks. Probably find a used set of progressives for a couple hundred bucks or just a used stock set. Someone pulled off their bike for like 50, 100 bucks. I think for 300 bucks, you probably have this bike looking amazing. Like I said, it is literally $4,500. That's going to be the cheapest. The cheapest one I found is like 5,500 bucks. It was in this color scheme with these kind of miles. It has only 4,356 miles on it. So, for 4500 bucks, you were looking at a killer deal bike. Guys, this bike will not last long. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to check out the test drive video. And make sure to follow us on Instagram at SRK Cycles. Thanks so much for watching, guys.